Hello, and welcome to App Exchange Mavericks. I'm Jocelyn Fenewald, Salesforce MVP and Chair of Witness Success. Joining me today is Tony Zork, CEO and founder of Accounting Seed. Tony, can you tell us a little bit about Accounting Seed and how you got started? I am a certified public accountant, and I have spent most of my career um, using accounting systems, and then I started implementing them for others in, in the 2000s. And I got into the Salesforce space because some of my customers who I'd implemented accounting for asked me to integrate those accounting systems to Salesforce. And when I got into the Salesforce uh, space and I saw all the flexibility around CRM and how it was being used differently with all these customers, I was just inspired by that. I was just blown away because traditional back office accounting systems are built on a totally different paradigm, which is it's extremely rigid. Um, we know how you should be best using your application as the software maker, and here's how you should use it. And when I saw how different of a mindset CRM was for customers, where it was a mindset of, here's a tool set, you know how to run your business the best way, uh, you can adopt this tool set to run your business the way you want. I was just completely inspired by that. I was blown away by that. I said, this is what I want for accounting systems. This is what I want for back office systems. So I, as I looked more into the Salesforce space, I decided to build an accounting system on it. Tony, I know I've seen you at Salesforce events since the founding of Accounting Seed in 2008. Can you tell me how your company's grown since then? So we've actually moved up market uh, to service more mid-sized customers and uh, larger mid-market customers and even enterprise customers now as well. And one of the things we love is that we've, we've preserved that capability at the small uh, business market and the medium-sized business market as we've gone up market. We haven't really removed that. The power of the Salesforce platform is it's so flexible that we're actually able to present uh, that our product to those different market segments, accommodating their needs in terms of data volume, feature sets, and architecture. And that's what really is amazing and even today surprises me that we can do that. And it's really game changing and very exciting. Tony, it sounds like Accounting Seed is really at the forefront of innovating the accounting space. Can you tell us a little bit about the solutions that are offered? The reality is all customers uh, need accounting, so we're able to provide that feature set. But a traditional accounting system, so you know, is really about five different things. So it's a, a general ledger, it's a banking module, it's a financial reporting, and what we call accounts receivable or accounts payable. So accounts receivable would be billing your customers, collecting from them, recognizing revenue, and for accounts payable, that would be paying, uh, recording the liability to your vendors and paying them. And so customers traditionally use accounting seed to do what we call wall-to-wall -wall on Salesforce, where they're running their sales, their service, their operations, and their back office all on one platform. And what they love about that is now their, now their IT department is using one tool set across all of those different functions. So they, have a, uh, they, they really know their tool set and can uh, use that to make uh, miracles in all those different areas of the company and do a, a great job with that. Um, and then their company loves being on what we call a single source of the truth. So for the first time ever, and we hear this a lot, for the first time ever, oh my gosh, all my customer, uh, all my data is in one place for the heart and lungs of the business. And I can now automate from front to back. I can customize as I want. This is game changing for us. With Accounting Seed being a native application to the platform, what are areas of Salesforce that you actually integrate with? Sales Cloud, uh, most straightforward, most traditional use of Salesforce, where you have an opportunity. From an opportunity, you can just click a button right into Accounting Seed. You can create a sales invoice or a recurring sales invoice or a sales order or a project. Um, and that's the way that we kind of built the company um, and started out. We expanded to the nonprofit success pack, an integration that I'm really excited about that we've just rolled out recently. Um, it takes it uses Salesforce as a donation management subledger and, and just rolls all that up right into the accounting seed general ledger, all automated, all in a way that um, aligns with how these transactions are actually settling at your bank. So it's a really beautiful solution, very elegant, really excited about it. 
Uh, we're also integrated to Salesforce Field Service Lightning. Uh, so from a Field Service Lightning work order, you can press a button, you can create a sales invoice right from that. You can create a sales order if you need to. So those people in the field uh, have really great access to the back office right from that work order. And then we're also integrated into Salesforce CPQ billing. If you're using that product, that's a billing product extending Salesforce's CPQ capability. And we're also integrated to Salesforce B2B Commerce Cloud. So that's really handling inventory transactions online between businesses. And again, those can roll right into accounting seed in a fantastic way. And then our sixth integration is a planned integration that we're working on right now. And that was that's with Salesforce Order Management. So Salesforce announced at this last Dreamforce, they're taking the B2C Commerce Cloud and uh, creating order management and accounting seats integrating that as well. So we're really excited about that. Tony, can you tell me a little bit about the industries that Accounting Seed works in and some successes that you've had in those industries? Accounting Seed is a completely horizontal application. So every organization in the world needs accounting. We have customers as small as a couple of moms in a suburban Seattle PTA association for their local school district, all the way up to uh, the Girl Scouts of America and the state of Florida. So everything in, you know, all industries, everything in between, but we just service everything. Um, and it's, it's pretty fun uh, to be on this side of accounting seed in just the way we get involved in so many different industries and all the time I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a business doing that or I can't believe you can make money doing that and there's these companies doing it. It's really exciting and fun. But we serve financial services, governments, government contracting, nonprofit, distribution, manufacturing, uh, lending, banking, um, insurance. It just goes on forever. Tony, can we see accounting seed in live action? Absolutely, Jocelyn. I'd love to. Let's take a look right now. So our counting home is that centralized place where customers can come in, uh, but we actually can just be another tab inside of your Salesforce instance here. We're taking a look at that. Of course, all the configuration settings are accessible with Accounting Seed because it's a native app. But with our accounting home, we're grouped into these major areas like cash in, cash out, banking, financial reporting, and you can easy, easily access all those transactions. Um, our Ledger Manager, uh, which you're looking at right now, you can select different companies as your default ledger and those uh, transactions will all inherit those uh, ledger tags. Right from the opportunity in Salesforce, we can create a sales order, sales invoice, recurring sales invoice. And also the account is where you can really see everything coming together. So you have opportunities and quotes, but all the back office transactions like uh, you know, billing, cash receipt, uh, recurring billing, accounts payable, cash disbursement are all gonna be centralized right here on the account as well. We do support recurring billing, recurring transactions for journal entries, uh, um, as well as sales invoices and vendor invoices. And here we have our automation center where you can set up and really automate any process you want. Everything in accounting seed uh, that you would like and can put rules to your business, you can eliminate the clicks, there's no code needed. Right here, our financial reporter is uh, handles all those core uh, traditional financial statements like profit and loss, profit and loss versus budget, balance sheet, uh, but you can customize any of those as well. And that's just a quick overview of what we have. Where can people learn more about Accounting Seed? Well, an easy place to find more information is on the App Exchange, on our App Exchange listing. Um, that will also take you to our website, which we have tons of information on customer success stories as well. And, uh, examples of how different companies are using accounting seed and from there I that, that third step I would take is you know hitting the request a demo button on that site and actually talking to one of our team members Tony thank you so much for joining us today and spending time talking about accounting seed that's all for today's session of app exchange Mavericks it's been great talking to you I look forward to catching up with you at our next Salesforce event I'm sure I'll see you in the ecosystem soon mm -hmm.